Hello Internet people, my name is Robert and in this video I'll show you how to create a subdomain in Hostinger Webhost. And in case you've seen this type of uh, error page, I'll also show you how to fix this. If you don't have a web host yet, then click on the video banner here at the top right and I'll show you how to set it up in about 10 minutes with my recommended web host. So once you've logged into Hostinger, we can create a subdomain once we have already the main, main domain connected to Hostinger. So to do that, I assume you already have the website. We have here websites. You go on the websites and pick the domain you want to have subdomain under. I have many domains here, but I'm going to pick this one. I'm going to click on manage. And from here on the left, we have domains. You have subdomains. From here, you can type in what the name of subdomain. Templates punchsalad.com. So it will be templates And I'm going to select the custom folder and just going to call it template. So it's in a separate folder structure from my main domain. All right. This looks good. And going to click, click on create. There you go. It created. Now I have this subdomain right now. It doesn't show anything because we haven't installed anything on it. We can give it a go and just go here and see what's on it right now. But you see, it just can't be reached. So what you can do here is just come here, websites, auto installer. From here, we're going to install WordPress on this new domain uh, subdomain and give the names. I'm going to just call it templates uh, here. My admin email tutorials and then add a password. And this is really important. Don't skip this step. You open up advanced. I don't know why it's hidden there, but from here, instead of your main domain, you need to uh, you need to select your subdomain. Yeah. Otherwise, it will overwrite your main domain and that, that's not good. This is good. Then let's click on next. From here, I'm just going to keep the settings to the recommended ones and click on install. By the way, if creating a website is not really your thing and you want a professional to do it for you, then check out my website services. The link will be in the video description. OK, now what we need to do is check if it works. So I'm going to go to the website, to the subdomain I just created. And you can see it doesn't work. So this is happening to me because I didn't buy my domain name from Hostinger and my domain names name servers are not directly pointing to Hostinger either. This sounds super complicated, but basically you need to go where you bought your domain name and then go to the DNS settings and check if they are pointing to Hostinger. My domain name is with Cloudflare and basically the domain name is pointing to Cloudflare and Cloudflare doesn't know that there's this do, uh, subdomain. So we need to adjust that. So I'm going to go to Cloudflare. And in your case, it could be something else. You, you, you know, it could be another domain registrar or this kind of a service. So I'm inside my Cloudflare. I only have one website here, so I just click on it. And now from here, I need to go to DNS. And now what we need to do is create a new A record for uh, the subdomain. I already have here the A record for my uh, main domain. So let's create add record, A record. And in this case, we need this IP address of our server. So if you don't know how to get that, you just come here, click on hosting, plan details. And here you have this website IP address. This is what we need. I'm going to copy it, come back to Cloudflare place it in here like this. Oops, sorry, place it here as IP. And then I'm going to type in here templates dot punch. So I'm going to just type in my subdomain and I'm going to disable the proxy status and keep the TTL as auto and just save this. There you go. I have a new record here, templates. And now if I refresh this page, in within a few minutes, it should start working. There you go. Something is appearing now. <laughs> it's not what I wanted. I would expect a bit more, but at least now it's not giving an error. So one more thing we need to do because we have here not secure. So what we, we come here and here you just need to go under WordPress and then overview and make sure to change to your subdomain. And now we can make sure that the HTTPS is forced. Make sure that one is enabled. And now if we wait for a few more minutes, let's see. Now I waited a few minutes. It still didn't update. However, what I noticed is if I come from here and go to the admin panel, you can see that I actually can log into WordPress. I don't know why it, uh, what went wrong there uh, and why it's not showing the website. But if I come here, just go to appearance and then themes. 
and then just install a new theme. So you can come here and you can, for example, search for Astra, which I already uh, installed Astra theme. You can just install it and activate it. And then when you go to your website, so now my subdomain is actually working. <laughs> it was a bit troublesome in some, for some reason, but it works. Now you know how to create a subdomain, but creating a website from scratch takes a lot of time. That's why you should watch this video next, where I'll show you how to install a website template in just 10 minutes. And you actually have many free templates to choose from.